my construction entrepreneurs. So in this video, I talk about why we should not be giving discounts when we're not even profitable within our business. But I also talk about why is it important to understand covering the nut? Why is that important? And how you can use, once you understand covering the nut is, what benefits do you possess as a contractor after that? Hey, what's up my construction entrepreneurs? Top of the morning. Doing another walk. <clears throat> oh, get it right, John. Just get it right. Hey, so my construction entrepreneurs. Just got off the phone with another student. I signed up with the with the course and one of the things that I was talking to the student about <clears throat> was going over numbers jobs what jobs are in the pipeline how they're handling those jobs and um, basically the steps to bring those jobs on schedule those jobs um, invoice complete those jobs and one of the things I found out was the pricing. Why are we giving deals when we're not even being profitable within our business? Why are we giving deals? If you're not being profitable in your business, you need to stop giving deals, okay? If you're not being profitable within your business, you need to stop giving deals. It makes no sense to give a customer a deal on a project when you haven't been profitable on your, uh, or even on the last three projects before that project. You know, I think sometimes, not sometimes, most of us, uh, take on projects what if we know those projects are for us or not we take on projects that I, I, I think we do it just to stay busy now there, there's a time where um, successful companies will take on projects just to keep the doors open right um, there, there's times where I have taken on projects and only charged overhead for those projects just to keep just to keep the doors open just to keep the guys busy and when I do take on those projects and you know we do turn it around on the on the next few projects or things do start to look up um, I can't wait to get rid of those projects okay but uh, that that's just you know knowing your numbers that's just you know now hey we're, we're just trying to keep the doors open let's focus on you know these few jobs here landing those getting that cash flow in and, and and not allowing it to go past these few jobs here right but there's a um, there there's there's almost a a um, I don't know the right word, but it's almost like every job that some of us get, we're giving deals on and we're not really making any money. Like we're literally working for pennies, pennies, but we're busier than, <laughs> I mean, those same individuals are super busy super busy but you're busy because you're not even charging correctly you're busy because you're not even making any money right and if eventually you burn out eventually all this catches up okay stop giving deals when you understand your number right when you understand what what it is to cover the nut how much is it to cover the nut when you understand that okay um, then you know how low you can go, right? When someone's, okay, for example, let me tell you about this bidding system that's out now. And I only seen it on uh, 
uh, what's that company called? AutoZone. So AutoZone, and I imagine there's some other companies out there doing it now. And um, there was AutoZone bid on like probably uh, more than a year ago, right? So when you bid on the AutoZone, right, you have to be qualified to bid on the job first, but it's an auction, right? The auction is this. It's an auction. So once you want, once the bid date and time is set, everyone submits their bid. Okay, the you can actually see the bid. The lowest bidder comes up. You see who's the lowest bidder. Okay. Now, there's a timer that starts. I believe it was, I want to say it's maybe 10 minutes. So a timer start, right? 10 minute timer start. And that gives you the opportunity to beat that low bid. It's like an auction, bidding. So let's say 10 minute timer starts now, or five minute. Now you have an opportunity to turn in the number lower than the number that you turn in to go lower than the lowest bidder. So turn in another, another round. 10 minutes up, bids are in. If there's a lower number, if there's not a lower number, then that person um, that turned in a lower number gets the project. But if someone turns in a lower number after that, the time starts again, the 10 minutes, right? It's almost like a race to the bottom. But now I, I, I don't like that type of bidding, right? But it doesn't matter what bidding you get into. Long as you understand what, how much it costs you to cover the nut. Covering the nut is how much did it cost you to do this job? outside of your markup, okay? Outside of your profit. Now listen, part of the, the cost that's part of doing this job is your overhead as well, okay? Because that's the cost <laughs> it's gonna cost you to do the job. I'm talking about understanding the numbers without having your profit in there, okay? And that way you know, okay, so if I take off, you know, $10,000, then, that that only leaves a hundred dollars whatever it is right so you got to understand what it is to cover the nut that way you know i cannot go lower than this i cannot go i can i cannot give you a deal because if i give you a deal i'll be beating myself okay so um um it, 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 <laughs> Back when I was doing this, back when I first started doing this work, um, uh, I had two things bad, very bad that I was doing. One, I'll determine whether a customer can pay me or not. I walk up to a house, look at the house, look at the cars in the driveway, and I'll say, hey, they can't afford to do the concrete work. They're gonna tell me no. And I'll cut down my price to match whatever budget I think that they can pay. Right, but that's not why they called me over. That's not why that person is buying. Right, they have different reasons to buy, but I didn't know that during that time. Uh, another thing is, I'll do is I'll give uh, discounts. I'll give uh, deals um, just to get the job. So I'll tell myself no, and I give the deals as well on the job. So I was beating myself twice. I'll give them, I'm already giving them a bid on what I think their budget is, is it, it will, will most likely handle. And then I'm giving a deal on top of that, right? And then I had another issue with doing extra work where, you know, instead of me just laying down flat work for a patio and putting some control joints in there, I'm actually trying to do a design with my control joints. I'm doing diamonds instead of just putting two main, you know, depending on the size of it, just doing some main control joints. I'm up here doing diamonds and squares and California edges. And <laughs> so I was really not making any money, right? But once I under, and, and it's not like this. When you give a person a deal, it's not like you added that extra money to the job to be taken off. 
right? Like, oh, you know, they're gonna ask me for this. Uh, they're gonna ask me for a five hundred dollars discount, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it to them. So I'm gonna add the five hundred to it. That way, when they ask for it, I just go ahead and. We're not doing that, right? So, understanding what it costs to do this project is what you first need to know, okay? <clears throat> We're giving out deals and not even understanding what it costs to do the job, right? Once you understand what it is to cover the nut, then you can understand what you're exactly making on that job. And once you see what you're really making, I doubt you give a deal. You're gonna charge more. <laughs> once you see what you're really making, always do this, okay? Outside of your overhead, remember, your overhead is not what you're making. Your overhead goes into what it, what it costs for you to do this work, right? Do this, take that profit, now, mind you, also remember this, profit is not wages, okay? And wages are not profits, okay? So, your wages are not profit, okay? We're talking about profit for your company, right? So, and there's different terms for this, right? Let's say profit for your company. Divide that profit, just split that up into how long it's going to take you to do the job. How long is it gonna take you to do that job? If that doesn't meet your minimum mark that you wanna make per day, then you need to charge more. That's what, this is why it's important to understand how to determine your, 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 your profit percentage, your, uh, your margins, right? And, and charging the correct, right? Always do the margins, right? That's why it's important to understand that because if you don't, then you, you you even beating yourself on that portion as well. So divide that number, that dollar number, by how long you plan to take to do the job. Okay, and once you divide up that up, sometimes you uh, there was one time I divided one up and we were making a hundred bucks a day. A hundred bucks a day. There's no way any business can survive, right? The smallest company, the, the, the smallest company, we need to be making for our business 300 bucks a day. I would not go lower than three to $500 a day. I, and I'm just talking about the company. I'm not talking about your wage. And, that, and that's another thing that we get confused here as small contractors is that it's, we, we, don't, we don't even, when we think about profits, we literally are thinking about what we're getting paid, our wage on the job, right? We're not trying to, it's almost like we're sabotaging the company. We're only thinking about what we're getting paid, which is should be our wage for working that particular job, separate from what the profit is for the job, okay? So, <clears throat> this leads me into... This is why you need to go get the overhead sheet. It's still $4.99. Understand your overhead. And if you, st there's a, there's a, a video to, um, to understand how to fill it out. And then there's also um, uh, uh, an updated spreadsheet that you get with it, right? If you cannot figure out how to do it, you can still give us a call. Either myself, or someone else can work with you on that. Once this will be an eye opener, I guarantee you it's be an eye opener. And after that, you need to get the forms, the admin forms. The admin forms, I got so many forms in there, I, I don't even know all of them, but you got the project completion form where you can do task completion and whole project completion. We have um, uh, different contracts in there. I also added example contracts in there that I have already done over time okay so it shows you how those contracts are wrote out I have the dollar amounts on them everything you see the wording how it's laid out how it's formatted what's included you see the exclusions you see the general conditions page 
I even got a commercial contract in there as well. So you can write up commercial contracts. It, I got examples on commercial contracts that I've done where I submitted bids for the commercial contract, how that's laid out, how that's worded, uh, what pages are called out. I mean, there's so much content in there and that the admin forms um, is uh, $24.99 for right now. It's $24.99. There will be some sales going on. <clears throat> Make sure you capture that information, those courses. So, how you doing, sir? So, to help you be successful in your construction business moving forward, it's very important. You got to stop winging this. We have to stop winging this. We have to take initiative to make it a point to be successful in our business we can't we can't always rely on we got this i got this i i'm doing i'm doing okay there's a lot of us are not doing okay and you know why you 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 you're not doing okay and listen don't tell me you don't have the 24.99 don't tell me you don't have the four dollars and 99 cents we all got it we all have it you have it, I have it, and then guess what? It's not just for, it's, it's for your business, it's for you. This, this is helping you. So, invest in you. Invest in you so you can understand what you really need to be charging out here. You can understand whether a customer is your customer or not, and, and where you need to go to get that customer. Because you understand how much money you're making. You understand how to make money and you can pass this on. It's ridiculous how bad we are out here at not making money. Well, how good we are out here at not making money. Really good at not making money. But it's, 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 it's incredibly terrible how much money we're not making, how much money we're losing out here. So go get those forms. Don't forget to check that out. My Construction Entrepreneurs, I'm going to let you go with that. Hustle hard, then hustle harder. Catch you on the next one.